Do you think you're having caregiver burnout from dealing with me? No. I, really? I, no. Because sometimes you do get a little exasperated. I think we need to practice our memory a little That's bit. That's not, no. Okay, then I think you need to practice like walking. Hey. How's that? Hey. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's a special episode. It is. We are taking a trip down memory lane. Sort of, not really. Yes. Well, okay, five years ago, we did this big Q&A video. Our first ever Q&A, right? That, yeah, when we were YouTube babies. Yeah. And baby humans, basically. Yeah. And we really didn't know a whole lot about YouTube. We were still like, you know, we'd only been together for three years at that point. Yeah. Um, but we got a bunch of you to submit questions. 25 of them we picked out. Uh, 25. And some of them are a little weird that we picked them out. <laughs> but we have a ton of new followers since then. I mean, when we posted that video five-ish years ago, we had, what, like... 100,000 followers, maybe? Maybe. Um, now we obviously have more than a million. So most of you have never seen these questions. Yeah. So here we go. So get ready. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. While Hannah brings up the first question, I'll I'll just let you know we will link to the old video in the top of the description. So if you want to go back and see how cringy and baby we are, I don't even want to see it. I I didn't watch it because I was like, nope. Yeah, we were like, we'll get the questions from it, but let's not see what our answers were. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, this first question, like, let's just remember that we picked the order. You know, like we got questions from you guys, and then we we chose some and we wrote them down. And this is what we decided to start off the video with, like really grab you guys yeah, in. This is going to be a slammer of a question. Will you ever do a live video on YouTube where people can donate and to ask questions? <laughs> I can only imagine, like we thought, we probably had never heard of going live on YouTube and we probably were like, that's bet, a great idea. I bet you were like, that sounds fun. YouTube where people can donate to ask questions. Is that a real thing? I didn't know that that existed. I don't know, yeah, we'll look into it. <laughs> You know, and yeah, it ends up that live streaming is a big part of YouTube. It's and a thing. It's not something we do often, but we do do it. Yes. We've done some like fundraisers for charity that way. Yeah. So yeah, we did end up. We did. And to answer the question now. Yeah. Yes, we will continue <laughs> to occasionally live stream on YouTube. I promise you to get much better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number two. What were your family's reaction to your relationship? Ooh. Ooh. My family's reaction, my parents, especially my mom, was concerned when I told her about Shane because I told her that I had met a man online who was four years older than me and he lived in Pennsylvania yep. and I wanted to go fly alone across the country to meet him. So that's like a parent's worst nightmare. She was like, oh no you don't, who the heck is that? That's you might get that's kidnapped. That's how this talks, oh no you don't. <laughs> oh no you don't. Um, but once once Shane's identity was verified and they FaceTimed before I flew to Pennsylvania yeah. and all of that and they, my, my dad and my mom got along great with Shane and they loved him. So there was never any concern about his disability. I think that's generally what people are curious about and that wasn't really a, a thing for us. Yeah, I was worried about, you know, making a good impression on her parents. But they have a similar sense of humor and like worldview as Hannah. So, shot her. I did along really well with Hannah. I got along really well with them. Yeah. I was so happy when I discovered that they were like funny people and like I did make jokes with them. It was yeah. great. And my parents and family loved Hannah. They thought she was great and funny, and um, they were a little bit annoyed that suddenly I was spending all of my time texting her and on my phone and couldn't give them the time of day anymore. But yeah. beyond that, uh, they were very happy for me. <laughs> all right, next question, question three. We gotta start rapid firing these, or this is gonna be a yeah, three hour video. Do you plan on starting a family? Oh. We probably said yes. Do you plan on starting a family, smiley face? Oh. Yes, not yet. <laughs> I'm in college, but yeah, eventually, definitely. Yeah, you have one more year. Well, half a year. Half a year, a couple left. months. Um, and then we will begin pumping out the babies. <laughs> uh, my goal is to have enough for a soccer team. Oh, okay. So, All my right. own family soccer team. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that was always our plan. And yes, the answer is still yes. Uh, we did not at that time foresee all the uh, all the problems that we will would come across. No, we were starry eyed. Yep. And uh, didn't know what IVF was probably. I know. At that and you point. know what we should have done was frozen your god sperm. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, if only we had known. If only we had known. Um, but yeah, obviously we still would like to start a family. Yeah. As we are going to IVF. So. But I will say we are a family. So we are. A family. We've already started our family. And our family is complete. Isn't that the holiday message? I'm just saying. That we all need to hear. Even if we don't have kids, that does not mean that we are not a family. No, exactly. And all of you watching are our family. Yeah. As well. Okay, the next one. Do you ever feel caregiver burnout, Hannah? And what do you do for self-care? I feel caregiver burnout. Do you, Shane? Hannah, are your pizza bites done yet? Oh, I, I didn't shut them in 11 minutes past their done time. I really feel like They're you do. They're buried again. Do you think you're having caregiver burnout from dealing with me? No. I really? No. Because sometimes you do get a little exasperated. I think we need to practice our memory a little That's bit. That's not, no. Okay, then I think you need to practice, like, walking. How's <laughs> that? <laughs> hmm? So you have a burnout right there. <laughs> no, anyway, go ahead, answer. Well, I'm just curious about your answer. No, I, I don't think I've ever really had caregiver burnout. I know that's a thing for some people. Our system works well for us. I, and I'm trying to think of like even a, a small example of that. In, uh, sometimes I'll get irritated if I'm like just sat down to play a video game and then Shane needs a refill on his wine or something that I deem unnecessary at that moment. Yeah. I'll be annoyed, but it's not like a long-term burnout thing where I'm, yeah. I'm having like a, a ongoing issue. And that's mostly because my physical care is not that demanding. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like all day and I was like... Yeah. Painting my nails and combing my hair, <laughs> you know, there's just not a whole lot. Yeah, the nail painting is just in the evenings, so I have a lot of time <laughs> before that. It might be different if, like, she worked out of the home yeah. and, like, you know, had a strenuous job outside the home and was, like, gone all day and then would come home and have to, like, help me use the bathroom and make dinner and, like, everything all at once, yeah. but... Because we work together and work together all the time, we can space out my care and our yeah. life in a way that is convenient for her. Yep. Good answer. Uh, I would love to hear a more in-depth explanation of how you two met. Like, was it love at first sight? Mm. Now, I almost feel like we should skip this one because we have a how you met video. Yeah, I think maybe we'll just link to that video. I mean, we've said this many times So many already. times. Hannah saw a video about me online. She sent me an email and said, hey... You're funny. We would get along. I replied, we fell in love. The end. Wow. That was really, <laughs> that was brief. I think that how you met video is probably 20 minutes long. So if you want any more details. There's a lot more cute stuff in the longer video. We will link that down below. Okay. It, was it love at first sight? Well, we've talked about this. I know. Like, because it, we met over email, like that was our first exchange. That's not really possible, but I will say sparks flew during our first FaceTime. Yeah. I think okay, love is a big word, you yeah. know, like you have to feel more than just like, oh, they're great for it to be loved. Yeah. We were certainly like infatuated from the Infatuation. Yeah. yeah. But it took well It took about two, two or three weeks. weeks for us to be in love. Fourteen days and then we were like, I love you. <laughs> Okay, uh, what are people's reactions when you introduce Shane to them as your boyfriend? Oh, jeez. Aww. We've gotten a wide spectrum of uh, replies. We've gotten people crying. Yes. Um, a woman started to cry. She hugged me and cried. We've gotten people's jaws dropping. Like, they, like, people have laughed. Yeah. Like thinking that we were kidding. Uh-huh. It's really awkward. <laughs> it happens less now. Uh, we still get like, you know, my hand was like, oh, this is my husband. We still get the replies that are like, oh, like, yeah. like you can tell they're a little bit surprised. Yeah. But I think husband carries a different weight to it than boyfriend. Yes. Boyfriend was like, oh, you're, you're dating a yeah. little disabled boy. And now husband is <laughs> like, I think it's more people kind of snap into, oh, like this is a, this is a, an is adult it, couple yeah. that I should kind of treat like an adult couple. treat like an yeah. adult yeah less of like the oh my gosh but they're like oh 
But, you know, back then people used to fawn yeah. over it. Yes. Um, did the people from the hotel ever call about the pee jar? Now, I do remember what this is referring to. <laughs> yeah, we have to explain this. <laughs> we were in Savannah. We were on a road trip, a long road Mobile. trip. Mobile. Mobile. We were in Mobile, Alabama, and we left uh, Shane's pee jar and our electric toothbrush. Uh -huh. Shane's electric toothbrush, I think, at the time. No, we were in Bethesda. We left it in Bethesda. Really? Yeah, I, oh, I remember the hotel. That was now. Mobile. Anyway, anyway, we were driving down to Mobile. But yeah, anyway. that was the same road trip. Um, and we left the, the pee jar and the toothbrush. And I guess we called the hotel. They said that they would check, and they never returned never our call. But it. we had we were vlogging, and we filmed ourselves leaving the room, and we found in the footage that you can see the edge of the pe like edge of the toothbrush <laughs> in the, the bathroom, and yeah. we're like, no. So we know that's where we left it. We never got it back. We you did. had to pee into a little juice. I think it was like an apple juice bottle. Yeah, it was ocean spray, I believe. <laughs> um, which you know, ocean spray bottle filled with ocean spray. Ocean spray bottle filled with urine, kind of the same thing. I love cranberry juice. Um, but yeah, I had to pee in a bottle for a day or two. Yeah. Until we could get a, a It's hard to find a pee jar. Yeah. Where do you even do that? I think they have them at like CVS, but we were young and didn't think about it. We that. probably went there. Well, not right away. I peed in a bottle. <laughs> that was an emergency. We didn't know we left the pee jar until you were laying on the bed ready to pee. <laughs> Okay, how do you deal with disagreements and frustrations as an interabled couple? Does it affect the caring role sometimes and how? Yeah. Good question. Yeah, I think speaking from a three years married perspective, mm -hmm. like we certainly have moments now where we're in a disagreement or a, an argument or whatever and like I don't want to go ask Tana for a beer because I don't want to talk to her in that moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and probably I'm sure you feel that. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I think you'll hold off on asking for something if we're in a, an active fight. Yeah. But, uh, you know, occasionally that is what ends our fight. You know, you'll be like, mm -hmm. I have to pee, let's make up, you know. So I think it, it yeah. helps us end arguments quicker than if we could just give each other the silent treatment for like a whole day, you know? And there's something that, you know, it might sound ridiculous, but I am very grateful that there has never once been a moment where I've needed something, yeah. but we're in a fight and Hannah won't do it. But I'll do you it know? so, like... <laughs> yeah, we've done it in silence before. Yeah. Where, you know... You'll be like, I have to pee or like... I need to use the bathroom now. I need to use the bathroom and I'll just be like... you be like, fine. Fine. <sighs> And then we'll do it silently. <laughs> and I'll show my displeasure with him at every every possible moment. But if there were ever a moment where Hannah was like, no, yeah. like I'm not helping with something important, like because we're in a fight, I think that would be a much bigger problem. Yeah. You know, we've thankfully never had that. So That sounds like... Keep, keep going, That's... Hannah. <laughs> thankfully we've never keep had that. Keep it up. No, I've never done that to you. Thank God. Um... Do y'all want to get married sometime in the future? Aww. Aww. Want to get married at some point in the future? Yes. I just have to ask the question. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Actually. Okay. Hannah? From Lindsay <laughs> Yates. We got married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we weren't even engaged at the time of... of Although, answering the question now, do you want to get married sometime in the future? I'll say yes. If I can get married again, to who? I don't know. I just wanted to answer the question straight up. That's so rude. To you. I'm gonna we can renew our vows. I'm going to renew my vows. Yeah. I don't think I I'm, never want to do that. I don't that. think I'm the kind of person to do we that. Would, we didn't even, we barely did our vows the first time. We were like, this is not, yeah. this is not <laughs> us. Okay. Um, how did Shane's parents, parents react to him moving? With them being his caregivers for so long, what concerns did they have? Were they on board for the big life change? Yeah. I mean, I was nervous about telling my parents yeah. um, because of that dynamic. They were supportive. My mom had mom concerns, you know. She wanted to know what would be our plan if this happened? How would we handle it if this happened? Yeah. And once she realized that we weren't making this decision on a whim yeah. and that we really were thinking through how life would work, she 
was fully on board. Mm-hmm. Um, my dad was like real excited for me, and uh, you know, was just like, ah, yeah, man, like that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Uh, and but you know, he obviously had concerns as well. Uh, overall, they were very happy for me, um, but you know, they also were gonna miss me. Not in a caregiving sense, just like yeah. their son was moving a thousand miles away. Yeah. So that part was hard, but it was good. Yeah. How do you both earn your money? Oh. I'm curious how we answered this then, because I was in college. I probably said I'm a lifeguard. <laughs> You're a lifeguard, yeah. What's your biggest pet peeve about each other? Because you no, think that I'm tone. saying, uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I will specifically say it nicely just to be like, <laughs> Oh, do you need help with your lip? And you'll be like... You have never once said, Oh, do you remember like that? 